How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So in today's episode, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be mining for some netherite. We have our beds uh, set up and a whole bunch of wood to be able to make them as well. So let's just head over to the nether and let's get this started. Hopefully I'll be able to find a whole bunch without having to travel super far. But let's see what's in store. So the best way to find netherite is by mining down really... Oh, okay. These things aren't hostile. Thank God. Oops. So the best way to do that is to mine down super low near Y11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come out here and... Or maybe I should kind of make this part into my base as well just to have a safe spot to go down. Uh, but you know what? I'm actually really near a cliff, so this I'm probably and I'm gonna I'm probably gonna end up falling to my death. So I guess I'll just go here near where I put my emergency flint and steel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tunnel down and try to get to Y11. I'm at 50, so let me skip ahead a bit here. Okay, so at about 30 here, I ended up uh, almost falling into a lava pool. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is branch out either to the right. Okay, no, it looks like that's also full of it. Maybe to the left. Okay, so this doesn't look like a good spot that I could use. So maybe if I come up here and first of all, I'm going to stand a bit higher so that way I won't accidentally die to lava. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to turn to the right and hopefully this this way will be better. Let me see. Oh, no. Even this one too. It looks like so it looks like there's a huge lava pool right below me here which isn't very good. So, yeah, this is actually a really big one. So, is there anywhere else that I could go? I guess I have to find another safer tunnel. Uh, where could I go? I could go where... Oh, did I have my bow? I do not have my bow. This is not a good look. This is not a good look. Let me go get my bow. Hold on a second. All right. So, now I got my bow just in case that gas... And they, he ended up staying here. Okay, I thought they despawned once you leave. But that's good. All right. So where could I go? Uh, I remember I ended up tunneling a little bit over here to the right. So maybe there's somewhere that I could go over here. Let's see. This spot. Did this go down at all? No. So there must be that lava pool that I was that I kept running into. And over here, this was where the Nether Fortress was. And if I remember correctly, that was also covered by a huge lava pool. Okay, so I'm not... So it looks like... Yeah, it looks like I might not be able to get down below it somehow. But I really need to. So let's see what we could find over here. If I go through these old paths that I took to get to the Bastion. Okay. Yeah, there's still that big lava pool. Um, and then where did I go? <clears throat> I kept going straight. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so it looks like... Looks like there are some spots I can get to. If I get across... No, that's not... That's going to take way too long. And there's another ghast. Okay. So this might be a bit more difficult than I thought. Maybe if I switch biomes. If I just keep running until I find somewhere else to go. Yeah then maybe I'll be able to get out of this lava pool area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep running in my old paths over here. And I'm going to pop out when something I, when I find something interesting. Okay, so after a lot of trial and error, I finally found a spot that let me get all the way down to Y11. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to get set up with my little station. So first thing I need to do is I need to put down a crafting table. And in this crafting table, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chest to get rid of all this garbage in my inventory so I have more space. Uh, so I'm going to make a full, stank of, a full stack of planks and I'm going to make a chest. Okay, so we'll keep this chest near the entrance. And I always dig... Uh, I always make sure I'm higher if I'm digging into the netherrack because there could just be a random piece of lava anywhere. So let me get rid of anything that I'm not going to be using during my uh, during my mining over here. All right. So and now that that's done, 
what I could do is I can make a whole bunch of beds. So I'm just going to click bed. So that way I could just keep making the beds that I need just like that. Okay. So let's get started. So I, I need to check out the radius first just to see how far these beds take to explode. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And then I'm going to break two and put the bed there. Okay. And now how far do I have to be before I click on it? Okay. So let's see. It's one, two, three, four, five. So five is too far. One, two, three, four. I'm on block four. Is that far enough to reach it? No. How close do I got to be? Okay, wait. Is it because I'm holding something? I think it's because the splint is in my hand. It's causing a problem. Yeah, let's try again. From over here. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Is this fire going to put itself out? Okay. So what I, what I should do, first of all, is I should block this off. Just so that nothing comes in from behind me. Okay. And... Alright, so I guess that's just how we're going to proceed. Um, everything's on fire. Great. This is a good look. And uh, lava is spilt all over the place, so there's going to be a lot of damage control, that's for sure. Uh, and no netherite. <laughs> okay. So what I got to do is... I have to stop all this lava, but lava flows as quickly as water in the nether, so this stuff should go away pretty quickly. So what I got to do is I just got to make sure that I'm staying on Y11. Okay. And ironically, I'm running out of netherrack, which is pretty ironic. So let me just refill this just to have building blocks for me to be able to, to use it. 9, 10, 11. Okay. Okay. So let's try it again. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then I'm going to put down 2, place a bed. And how far back can I go? But I need an open hand. That was the rule. Okay, I get it. Okay, perfect. Oh, and look at that. We already found two. Awesome. So this is going to go really well, actually. So let me just mine out these two and see how much it gives me. If I break this one. Oh, and there's even another one over here. Perfect. It's kind of stuck. Yeah. Okay, great. So I was able to get three of them. And is there any more that I'm not seeing because of the fire? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, so I just got to do a little bit of math just to see how many of these I actually need. Hold on a second. Okay, so the way that the math works is that one ancient debris smelts into one netherite scrap. And you need four netherite scrap to make one ingot. And then with one ingot, you can turn a piece of armor into it. So in total, I need 16 ancient debris okay and i mean i already found three so i feel like i'm almost there uh so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to continue this process a little bit and i gotta make sure i stay straight here hold on a second yeah just like this okay nine ten eleven okay so i'm gonna continue this process for a little bit and i'll fast forward to the good parts Okay, so here I found another section of them, and I got three of them right in a row. That's amazing. So the first one spawned in a pack of three, and also this one spawned in a pack of three. Is that rare? Or do they always just spawn in a pack of three? If they do, then this thing is going to be over a lot sooner than I thought it was. I thought this was going to literally take me all day. So I'm just going to mine these. One, two, three. Perfect. So six down, ten more to go. So let's keep this up. All right, so in this section, I found two of them over here, which is pretty good. So I guess they don't always spawn in threes, but two is still pretty good, not going to lie. And then I also found this black stuff over here. I wonder if this is part of, like, um, a structure? What is this stuff called? Blackstone. Wow. Real, orig <laughs> Real original name. <laughs> what are we going to call this black stuff over here? I don't know. How about Blackstone? but that guy got a promotion okay so it looks like there was only two in this section over here which is still pretty good because pretty much every segment i'm always finding one so i'm gonna keep this up so this section didn't give me anything useful but i found some glowstone down here which i feel like is a little bit rare so what i'm gonna do is i'm just going to mine out this glowstone and does fortune work on glowstone 
I have no idea. And I might as well get this gold because you do need gold to make uh, the, the netherite. So I might as well collect it while I have it, right? And let's see, I'll do away with this blackstone. I don't need that. Perfect. And it looks like there's a little tiny cave over here. Let me explore this, see if I can find anything kind of useful. No, nope, nothing over here. And if I keep going up... Um, no, it looks like this just goes back up to the surface. And I'm at Y16. Oh, here's a bit more gold. Okay, and making sure there's no lava below any of this stuff. Oh, wow, this stuff fills up pretty quick, huh? All right. And if I keep going over here... No, doesn't look like there's anything useful over here. Okay, so I'm going to go back and I'm going to keep mining. Okay, so it's been a little while since I ended up finding one, but this section over here has one just at the top over here. I'm hoping that when I dig into it, I find seven more next to it. So if you wish me luck, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right, so look, I did find another one over there, but it is currently too tall for me to reach. Let me just get up here. Perfect. Okay. And it looks like it's also mixed with these quartz as well. So I'm just going to dig around here because it's so easy to dig into the nether rack. Anything else up here? No. That looks like looks like there was just two. So did I collect it? I hope I did. I actually didn't look at my inventory to see what number I was at. Uh, but it should be good. I mean, otherwise, where else would it have fallen? Yeah, I feel like I definitely would have picked it up. Okay, very good. So we have 10 now. So it's only six more to go. Let's keep it up. All right. So at this point, I have run out of beds in my inventory. I do have it filled up with a bunch of other stuff. So what I need to do is I need to go back to the beginning to get to my crafting bench. And that way I could drop off this good loot. So I don't have to always keep running back and forth. And I'm going to make the next section of beds. So I think I'm pretty far from uh, my original starting point. Let me just skip ahead over here. Okay, so now that I made it back to my original base over here, what I'm going to do is first I'm going to make my gold ingots. Wow, 50. That's amazing. That's a whole ton of them. So I'm going to put those away and as well of all this other stuff um, and then my debris as well. So I got to remember I have 10. That way I only need to know I need to get six more and I'll put some of the nether rack away as well. I'll keep a stack just because I am using it to make bridges as well. So at this part, I'm going to make another set of spruce planks and I'm going to make as many beds as I can fit inside of this inventory over here. Okay. And, you know, since I have to keep coming back for the beds, what I could do is I could make first another chest. Uh, where is that? Uh, I'm going to have to put some of these on the floor over here. Yeah. I'm going to make another chest. Okay. And I'm going to expand this and run away if there's lava. Okay, no, there's no lava here. Good. And then I need to break this and there's no lava. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to open this up. And I guess I don't need to keep the wool on me because I always need to come back here to drop off stuff anyways. So at this part, I'm going to just take... Yes. Um, let's see. And then if I make all the planks and how many beds can I make over here? Bed. And then I can make two more. One, two. And then I'm going to put this wool away. So that way I'm full of the beds and put this planks away. And I have this one extra empty spot over here. Okay, so I'll be able to go a lot further with this. So I think that this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Toaster out.